Hello, and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about The Man from Toronto. This is a movie that I didn't know about. It just popped up on my Netflix, and I was like, wow, Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson in a movie? And uh, it's a movie I knew very, very little about, other than um, I knew that Sony sold it to Netflix because it was originally supposed to come out in theaters, I believe, but now Netflix got a hold of it. So I was like, eh, why not? Let's watch it. And... It's by the same dude who did The Hitman's Bodyguard and The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. And it's a very similar movie to those two, but let's talk about it. It stars Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson, and they're sort of like the dynamic duo of this movie, you know? Um, Kevin Hart is just a regular dude, Woody Harrelson is this trained assassin, there's a mix-up, and they FBI believes and the criminals believe that Kevin Hart is Woody Harrelson's character and then shenanigans ensue for the rest of the movie and it sort of just plays out like a buddy comedy. I mean honestly there's a lot of these movies now like the hitman and the regular dude just sort of in a comedy situation um, and it's about average you know maybe a little bit lower than average but uh, I don't know we've seen it before <laughs> like um, it's not terrible but you're also gonna forget you saw it tomorrow so for two hours you'll be entertained that's the problem with this movie it's very forgettable you know it's just sort of an average movie with nothing really going for it like they have solid enough chemistry like Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson but they're not like insane chemistry either like they're not great um they're just sort of like oh i can believe these two are sort of getting along um i mean it has some fun action scenes uh yeah i it, it's one of those movies that is just it's just a fun comedy and you know maybe that's all it needs to be you know it's on netflix you're like you get home after work and you're like what am i gonna watch ah this movie looks okay and then you watch the man from toronto and you're like, ah, that was okay, and then you go to bed and forget about it, you know. The jokes are pretty hit or miss. Like, there's some jokes where it's like, oh, that's sort of funny. Some jokes are, uh, you know, sort of like, ooh, that's sort of not funny and goes on for way too long. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like a comedy, so, I mean, obviously that'll be different from everyone. If you really like Kevin Hart movies, you'll probably like this movie. It's very similar to all the other ones he's done, but it's not on the level of Jumanji where it's like actually pretty good. The villains, I mean, they're stock villains that just come along with any of these movies. The plot is also just a stock plot, you know? It's just sort of like, oh, we need the hitman and the regular Joe to get together somehow, so we'll have this plot that they get mixed up in. Really, the only thing bad to say about it, other than it's just mediocrity and averageness, um, is the CGI. It is honestly some of the worst CGI I have seen in a while. Uh, like, it is bad. Like, it is like PlayStation 2 bad. It is brutal. <laughs> like, there's obviously not a lot of CGI in this movie because it's an action comedy, but with like friends. You know, a lot of it is just like them, you know, doing dialogue back and forth. It's not like a whole lot of action stuff. But when the CGI is used, you can tell it's used and it looks rough. Like, I don't know if that's why Sony, like, gave it to Netflix because it looks unfinished. Like, they were just like, well, we got 90% of a movie, but we don't want to do the CGI, so here you go, Netflix. And Netflix was like, eh, we'll release it. Why not? But it is. It's rough. Um, and this goes along with some of the fight scenes, too. Like, you can tell when they're CGI used and it's not good. Also, the physics and the fight scenes are insane. Uh, it's not very grounded. It's very, I mean, it has okay choreography. You get to see bits of it, but man, people just go flying and it's very cartoonish almost. <laughs> like, yeah, I know Kevin Hart's a small dude, but when you see him get thrown how he is in some of these fights, you're like, he's a small dude, but a small dude still couldn't get thrown that, that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just sort of a average comedy, um, it's honestly not the worst thing I've seen on Netflix. Uh, I enjoyed it more than Red Notice, but it's also, you know, it's not something you're gonna like tell your friends about or, you know, you're not gonna really recommend this one. You're gonna be like, it was okay, 
Like, you know, someone's going to be like, oh, you saw a man from Toronto? How was that? And you'll be like, eh, it was okay. And that'll be about all you have to say about it. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a soft recommend. Uh, you could do way worse. Um, but, I mean, Netflix also has, like, way better. You know, you could watch Stranger Things or you could watch this. We all know you should watch Stranger Things instead. But sometimes you need a little bit of garbage like this. So, uh, yeah, that's my review of The Man from Toronto. Eh. But thank you for watching. Have a nice day.